A device profile exists for the E300 electronic overload relay in Rockla Automation's Studio 5000 Logics Designer software. The device profile allows users to configure the E300 as well as establish communications between the Logics controller and the E300 electronic overload relay. The output tags of the E300 electronic overload relay control the relays. For example, output point 0 data controls relay 0 by placing a 1. In this tag, relay 0 will turn on. The output tags also can be used to control a trip reset. In the event that an E300 were to be in a tripped state, placing a 1 in output trip reset will reset the E300 electronic overload relay. The output tags can also be used to illuminate the LEDs on the operator station including both the control station and the diagnostic station. Output operator station 1 LED will illuminate the first green LED above the 1 start button. The input tags are used to view the state of the E300 overload relay. The first bits show the diagnostic information of the device status. For example, if the E300 were in a trip state, we can see that the trip present bit is set. Again, if we use the output tag to reset the trip, we can see that the trip reset bit went back to zero. Other diagnostic bits within the input assembly include what devices are connected to the E300. For example, input digital module one present indicates that expansion digital module one is on the expansion bus. We can also see that we have an operator station present on the expansion bus as well, and this is our control station. Other input points, such as input point zero data, represents the state of digital input zero. In this example, our contactor auxiliary is connected to input point zero. We can also read the states of the buttons on the operator stations, both the control station and diagnostic station. By pressing the, the green start one button, we can see operator station one is active, or a value of one. When I release the button, it is the value of zero. Again, in the event of a trip, we can review what the status of the trip is, or what caused the trip, by expanding the protection structure. This data structure indicates the reason for the trip or warning status. In this example, we can see that most of the values are zero, except for input protection test trip. That has a value of one, indicating that we have a test trip active. If I reset the trip, the value goes back to zero. Other diagnostic values that are included in the input tags include percent TCU or percent thermal capacity utilization. This value indicates the heat content inside an electric motor. When this value equals 100%, this is when the E300 will trip on an overload trip. Other diagnostic parameters include current imbalance, L1 current. This particular tag is scaled by a factor of 100. So right now my load is consuming a half an amp. If you have the appropriate sensing module, we can also report back the voltage. In this example, the L1, L2 voltage is at 118.1 volts. Again, this tag is scaled by a factor of 10. Another tag is input total real power. This is the power or kilowatts consumed by the electric motor. In this example, the load is consuming 57 watts. And finally, we have the user defined data. These are the data links that were assigned earlier. Data link zero 
is the overload time to trip. And data link one is the time to reset. The third set of parameters are the configuration tags. These tags contain all the configuration values for the E300 electronic overload relay and it is the foundation of how automatic device configuration works. These are the values or tags that get downloaded when the Logix controller first establishes a connection with a device. As you can see there are many configuration tags. For example, configuration FLA1 represents full load amps 1. This is a scaled value and this particular number represents a full load amp setting of 1.00 amps. Using a device profile makes communications easy with the E300 electronic overload relay and any Rockwell Automation Logics controller. With a simple few mouse clicks, a user can add a device to the Logics controller. It can also configure the device and it also includes automatic device configuration in which if a device were to be replaced, the Logix controller would automatically download the configuration data to the new device.